Hey everybody, it's me Lady Ada here at the Adafruit factory in New York and today I'm going to show you how you can portableize your project using Adafruit Power Boost. The Power Boost family solves a common problem that you've probably experienced in electronics where you want to run something that really wants 5 volts off of something that only gives you maybe 3 or 4 volts. We've cooked up Power Boost in two flavors. We've got the rechargeable version that uses rechargeable lithium ion or polymer batteries and the non-rechargeable version that can use any kind of batteries. Let's talk about these kinds first. For most projects, you can get away with using the Power Boost 500. This booster can supply at least 500 milliamps at 5 volts. For power hungry projects, you may need the Power Boost 1000. This booster can give you at least 1 amp at 5 volts. To power your Power Boost, you'll need to connect up a battery. You can use any kind of battery with 2 to 5 volts output. For example, a rechargeable lithium ion or polymer battery, or a couple double A's or triple A's. You can use rechargeable or alkaline. Once you've picked your battery, just plug it in and look for the power light. Once you've got the battery connected to the power boost, you can use any USB cable to power your project. Now you're ready to glow. You can even use it to power your phone. Each power boost has a low battery indicator LED that lights up red when the input batteries drop below 3.2 volts. This lets you know it's time to recharge or replace your battery. For really power hungry projects, you may want to upgrade to the Power Boost 1000, which can provide an amp or more of current. This is good for big projects that use a BeagleBone or a Raspberry Pi. It can even charge up tablets. Now we're onto the rechargeable Power Boosts. This is the Power Boost 500C. That means it's a Power Boost 500 plus some lithium ion charging circuitry over here. That means you can only use lithium polymer or lithium ion batteries with this Power Boost. You can charge up the battery by plugging any micro USB cable in, connected up to a wall adapter or computer. There's two charge LEDs. When the yellow LED is lit, it means it's charging. When the green LED is lit, it means it's done. If you like the Power Boost 500C and you're using it with an Arduino, you may be interested in the Power Boost Shield. It's kind of like a Power Boost 500C, but in shield format. You've got the same Power Boost 500 circuitry and the charging circuitry as well, but you can stack it onto an Arduino and fit a battery inside the shield. Then stack whatever other shield you like on top. It even gives you an on-off switch so you can glow on the go. Each Power Boost is designed, engineered, manufactured, and shipped out of the Adafruit warehouse in downtown Manhattan. Next time you need to take your project on the road, pick up one of these fine Adafruit Power Boosts at the Adafruit shop.